right, hello everybody and welcome to today's video. And today we are using this type of a bareback pad. This bareback pad it has a western type latigo on one side and an off billet on the other side and just kind of a regular cinch. And it has no stirrups. So here you go. Okay, so this particular bareback pad does not have any holds in the latigo. I may add some later. So we had to do a Texas tie or a latigo tie. The problem with so many of these pads is they slip and you have to keep checking on them. So I'm making sure that this is nice and secure and uh, I can barely fit. I can fit two fingers underneath there. So I know that's going to be secure enough that it's not going to slip. Before I do, remember to subscribe and click that notification button. We are putting out new content. Everybody, the biggest thing about using this type of a bareback pad, or riding bareback for that matter, is the fact that you've got to get your horse used to the mounting block because you don't have a stirrup to uh, use. So we're just using standard mounting block. And remember, your horse has to be kind of cool with it moving it around because you're going to have to get your leg up there and over. Make sure you grab mane, get your rein to the inside. We're using a shank tackamore. Make sure he's cool with everything and you're going to give it a little hop when you go over. Go up and over. All right. Well, that doesn't feel too bad. You know, I'm not a huge fan of, uh, of these. I'm mainly because I've never really ridden in them, but it stands to reason that, you know, a bareback pad is a whole lot easier on the horse than just a standard, you know, riding bareback. And plus in the summer, it's kind of a whole lot nicer because in the summer it gets really hot and sweaty and you just don't want to want that. So. Anytime I'm testing any kind of a bareback pad or anything, I want to make sure that the horse will completely flex and give their head to me. So if I need to, I have that emergency ring. So I always practice my one ring stop. So I have my outside hand. I've got a little bit of mane to grab if I need it, which of course, sometimes you do. And so I'm going to spiral down. I'll have my hand up. And, and make sure he gives, give him a pet, walk away. What to do on one side, you have to do on the other. So make sure you spiral down to a one ring stop. It's a good way to start. And so he gives his head, good. You want to make sure that they're still nice and flexible on either side. So definitely then a stop mm -hmm. you want to make sure your horse is going to back up and it's really neat because in a bareback pad they feel your seat so it's a good place to practice your backup with just your seat so you can start i'm going to really exaggerate this but you're gonna i tell people that it's kind of like squeezing a fart <laughs> you just gotta squeeze your butt cheeks and you're gonna sit back <laughs> and um <clears throat> You loosen your lower leg, but you're going to kind of wiggle your toes. So you're going to shift and you can feel the horse's spine underneath you, but sit up straight and start that back, back, squeeze and release, back, back, come on, back, good, back, come on, back, good, and back. So you always want to practice your backups as soon as you get on bareback. And make sure your horse can feel them through the bareback pad. Now, actually, I'm liking the way this bareback pad really feels. It's uh, it's really very comfortable, and uh, it does have like a little a little ring up here. So if you did need to, you could you could pull it. But I like the Western style girth. I like some of the other girths that I've used on these. It's holding a whole lot better because it's in three different pieces. And uh, I kind of feel like it's... There we go. But yeah, trotting with no stirrups in 
in a bareback pad. Oh my gosh. I can feel that and I'm probably going to be pretty sore. But I got a good hand on the mane so I can help with my uh, I can tell I'm going to need some a lot of work it working in this bareback pad. But uh, I like the pad. It fits pretty nice. And I think it's really going to be a good thing for some summer riding. So there's some basic exercises to test a bareback pad. Make sure it works great for you. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for joining us on today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And remember to see more, check out our playlists.